the Queens of Migration really, they were the shining light for us because they made that transition of growing up in a different country so much easier without us even understanding what the barriers, what the struggles, what the pains, what the difficulties were. Because even though they were like three or four story houses, I've never seen houses so dirty from the outside. The day I left, that was the last day I saw my father. I never saw him again. When I we left Pakistan, I was sad. <sighs> Leaving the two kids was worse than anything else. Especially later in your life, you realize how much those women went through to, for you to be here? The problem that most black people have when they came into England, racism. I experienced racism then, but I didn't know. I thought that was me. It's something to do with me. When you think about a woman, even sometimes she can be more articulate and intelligent maybe than her spouse or even her boss, yet always she takes a back seat because that's where we're placed. What kept me going? The fear of failure. That's the way they've survived and established themselves. They're not crushed by challenges. 